Back in the 1870s, a young German engineer had set out to build the world's most energy-efficient engine. Rudolf Diesel was a passionate socialist who dreamed of an engine designed for the common man. An engine that would be reliable, efficient and cheap to run. Diesel fueled his first engine with coal dust. That engine exploded. Since then, his version of the internal combustion engine has run on almost any fuel. Peanut oil, cooking oil and diesel, which unlike the heavily refined petrol, is cruder and much cheaper. Petrol engines and diesel engines are both internal combustion engines, but they work in different ways. One explodes and the other burns. In a petrol engine, the spark causes an explosion, a bang, if you like. Inside a diesel engine, the fuel doesn't explode, it burns. Rudy's masterstroke was the way that fuel is ignited. It's called compression ignition, demonstrated with a piece of cotton soaked in fuel inside a transparent cylinder. Put our cylinder back on. And the key to this is to have a tightly fitting piston. What's going to happen is I'm going to compress the air, the temperature of that air is going to rise, and then the fuel at the bottom is going to ignite that compressed air. Here we go. Like so. Compression ignition helps make diesel engines much more fuel efficient than petrol engines. And by the 1930s, diesel engines were being built with a good enough power-to-weight ratio to make them a workable option for trucks. And at that time, diesel cost about five times less than petrol. 